Aloha is the most Hawaiian word in the Hawaiian language it can mean hello or goodbye. It also means love and affection. Because I like this word, I will use from now on aloha instead of hi. Please comment if you like it or not. Aloha. My name is Andy. In this video I will show how to upgrade the CPU from Core 2 Duo E2200 to Core 2 Duo E4500 to a HP Compaq DC7800 Ultra Slim Desktop PC. Let's begin. For the upgrade I need a paper towel, thermal paste for the CPU and of course the CPU. The CPU is a Core 2 Duo E4500 CPU running at 2200 MHz. Focus please. Focus. Ok. You can see it now. First, I will unplug all the cables from the PC, the power cord, the monitor cable, the internet cable, the keyboard and the mouse. Now I will unscrew the top cover and uh, remove the top cover. This is the inside of the PC. To remove the heatsink I will use a flat bladed screwdriver now I will press the power button for about 5-10 seconds to discharge the capacitors first I will remove the cooler and then I will unscrew the four screws. One, two, three, four. So I remove the heat sink. The white stuff is a thermal paste. You can see it on the CPU too. I will clean the thermal paste with the paper towel. Normally I use isopropyl alcohol to clean the thermal paste, but now I don't I don't use because I have seven CPU that I want to try with this motherboard. The CPU will remain in this PC for about 10 minutes. Now I remove the CPU. The CPU is a Core 2 Duo E2200. And this is the new CPU. This is a Core 2 Duo E4500. Now I will apply the thermal paste, not too much. Ok, that's it. I will put back the heatsink and screw the four screws.
and now I will put back the cooler. I will press down till it clicks. OK. Now I will plug in the, all the cables, the keyboard, the mouse, the internet cable, the monitor cable, and the power cord. Now I will press the power button. I have video signal. The Windows is booting up. The Windows is recognized the new CPU. And I must restart the PC. I restarting. The Windows is booting. I made a Benchmark with Nova Bench software. Here are the results, and I put a link in the description. That's it. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe, comment, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. See you next time. Goodbye.